In late December 2020, Jacob Sochnisch threatened to delete his entire Twitter account after falling out of favor with Chris Chan and after the loss of the 2020 election by Donald Trump. For that reason, I'm going to be documenting Jacob's important tweets since July of 2020. This is not everything he tweeted, especially not the not safe for work stuff, because I can't post that on YouTube. This is going to be things that I find important. In this short series, I will be covering the months from July 2020 through to December. This first video will only cover July. We're going to start on July 3rd. Around this time, Jacob is still trying to get into Chris's good graces. At Chris Chan. Since I have all this time, I should write down the ROCAT scientific understanding of the merge. When I do publish parts of this chapter about interdimensional physics, don't get mad at me if it doesn't match what you believe. Keep in mind, Jacob has written several thousand pages of his Rokat Empire Bible. Chris has taken some of this and made it canon in Sonichu because of course he believes Jacob has insight into the alternate dimension where Sonichu takes place in. These books have all been leaked and you can find them some places online, I'm not entirely sure where. I do have access to all of them, but I have not read them all yet. Jacob has them for sale, but I would highly recommend not giving him the hundreds of dollars that he is charging for the books. I have plenty already from private chats with the aliens, and websites about the spiritual dimensions. Rokat science will be needed for the actual merge, but building such technology is beyond human ability. As long as human science rejects the truths of religion and spirituality which make up 95% of this universe, humanity will never reach for the stars. I wonder if I can understand enough to write the chapter. Below this he includes two images of ghosts or spirits from the other dimension. What Jacob will often do is have smoke candles lit in his room and then try to find pictures of spirits. He'll often trace these in Microsoft Paint. My recent insanity is due to many causes. Love, love, more love, some devotion, lots of both. Of course, messing with cosmic power will drive any sorcerer bat insane. Karma is taught so people won't do what I'm doing. My religion doesn't have any safeguards like karma to stop me. If I was on Kitasuna, I would have a coven, and plenty of physical and emotional in-person support in taking on cosmic power. I shouldn't be using any Rokat magic alone. It's extremely dangerous. In July, somebody on the Kiwi Farms made a prediction. 2020 will end one of three ways. Either Barb dies and Chris has a breakdown, Sockness, Chris's, or nothing interesting happens at all. Alternatively, the merge might happen, so who knows. Another user responds, I have a feeling Barb will live up until her 90s. I want Sockness to visit Chris, just to make this year interesting. Jacob responds to this on Twitter, I would go there if she'd give me the okay. I would make them Thanksgiving if they let me. Turkey tacos on following days. Home fried shells the Mexican way. Does she like hot sauce? Only a day later, Jacob's insane methods of trying to get Chris's attention become more apparent as he writes, At Chris Chan, You have a son. My free eyed and I in Sunnyvale just visited a woman who confessed to having your son to him. They live in San Jose, California. The child looks like you. He's ten years old later this year. I got in contact via text that Mia Ham is in San Jose under another name, with a ten-year-old. He bought time with her and paid 500 Her price has gone up significantly since Chris Chan. The fame has gotten her money. If they are still in San Jose, I intend to meet them somehow, but they might move on before life returns to normal. This all came by total surprise. Ben paid them well, so they will do well over this month. I'll see if Ben can get more info. I am going to bed. Mia Hamm is of course the prostitute that Chris Chan hired to lose his virginity to roughly 10 years ago. It is highly unlikely that C is still a prostitute or that Jacob is in contact with her. I wish I could throw all the trolls into a black hole to never be heard from again. Trolls should lose their human rights, tricking me into think someone had a kid that doesn't exist. They should be thrown into the abyss of Cygnus X1, the Stargate. Jacob is obviously now, two days later, explaining that he had been tricked into believing that Mia Hamm and Chris had a child, instead of making it up whole cloth. Kitasuna has been predicted before I was even born. I was never able to use a Commodore 64, but someone else could. A goddess could use it. 
I've been to a black hole in real life. He then posts the logo of the Commodore 64 and two computer-generated images of black holes. Proof of my journey. He posts the same gif of a wormhole. I've proven my stuff is real long ago, since before you were off the bottle. My books are 100% reality. P.S. Stop your lies towards the goddess. Those lies will find their way back to you. Never mess with autism. We will stand our ground. The YouTube video linked in that tweet leads to a channel whose account has been terminated for copyright abuse. Jacob is upset that his books, which he leaked when he was drunk to members of the Kiwi Farms, are being shared through the internet without him getting any profit. Because of this, he's decided to sell any new pages he writes for $500. The fact forbidden knowledge can be copied so easily will cost the first and only copy of such knowledge tens of thousands. Each page is $500 to obtain. Payment must be cashed before material is dealt. Meet Amy Sue, my amethyst wand. She is great healing energy. This is my first step in battling Kukulu, the god Madness. Whoever was pretending to be Chris's son, and the fool who thought they had info on the person that doesn't exist. Below this, for no reason, he posts two pictures of himself posing. Too cute to ever go emo. My magical occult shop is back. The young lady and the mother welcomed me back since this fake academic is failing to fool them. I think the younger lady there wanted to eat me all up. She broke all the rules. I hope she's single. I adjusted my channeling schedule to have less Jacoba and more Mishiro. As long as the fake academic continues, it's horrible remembering all the days. I would go out and be normal, but no one is. The well should never be forced to wear masks and denied true freedom. The only way I can experience seeing things like Chris Chan. I can't see the other dimensions, so I need to try another way to access the higher realms. Below this message, he posts a picture of two packs of salvia that he purchased. It's not easy to smoke this stuff. If this is what a first cigarette feels like, how does anyone get addicted? It burns my throat more than anything. I'm going to edit some old chats. It's been slightly over an hour now. Maybe I didn't smoke enough. It didn't do... I'm going to call the store I bought it from for tips tomorrow. I'm going to try the ingestion attempt tomorrow. I heard I have to eat a ton of it to get effects. I will admit, I felt a little lightheaded, but it might have been the smoke replacing oxygen in my lungs. I can't really get a deep breath on such concentrated smoke. I will steep a tea tomorrow and see what happens. I read the high only lasts 30 minutes tops. I forgot who on the Kiwi Farms was going to send me some, but it was a big fail anyway. Getting me up on herbs isn't easy. I can do copious amounts of cannabis THC without ill effects. Seeing isn't going to scare me. I'm used to seeing demons in rituals anyway. At Christian. I got to the end of the ritual as written by Mishiro. To break the barrier and give you both or the winner to come get me that kind of power is too much of a sacrifice to ask either of you to do it. I'm going to put it back in book 7.3 and never going to speak of it again. Neither of you are capable of such crazy power as this thing offers. I have to destroy the ritual. Mishiro is right. Too much power for mortal hands. Even immortal have gone insane on this power. Will either of you sacrifice the Christos for the ultimate power? You both have the Christos inside of you. But will you destroy it for the ultimate power in creation? Mishiro says it'll be your ultimate personal sacrifice for the ultimate goal, your magnum opus. I see this is something I must do alone, and claim the power for myself. I see no mortal or immortal capable of this spell I have written. Will I be alone in its casting this Halloween? I will cast the magnu opus, my greatest work. Thank you, Mishiro, for helping me. Any interested students have to train with me in person until they master Swetuhanic magic. Many years of hard work lay in front of the sorceress who uses my magnum opus with me. They would have to relocate and train in person in San Francisco. This is an obvious attempt for Jacob to convince Chris to move to San Francisco if he wants the merge to happen. Also tagged in this tweet is Daughters of Inno One, a Twitter account that has since been suspended. At Chris Chan. The secret to the ultimate power I have written, with help of Mishiro, requires the worship of Jacoba. To obtain this power, the ultimate power requires him to claim heaven and earth, and he will shatter the barrier. That is all I can say about how the spell will work when it is used in flawless execution. Flaws will cause the spell to fail. I must train someone, or be set to cast this thing alone, and be handed mortal godlike powers from those above and below this plane of reality. 
I know where to get my best mommy hugs. Those safe places come from daughters of Inna One, warrior of God, protector of innocence like me. I'm a pure and prefect channel and need to be protected from true evils. A hug that could help me fall asleep all safe and sound. A softness I could cuddle into forever. Those are very huggy bears. Those are giant hugs. Bone-crushing hugs. Can't help it. I love giant hugs. Beneath this, he's posted two pictures, the first of Chris Chan in a dress and the second of himself dressed in a Care Bear onesie with a staff. Good night, daughters of Inna One and all my giant huggy places. I want my super snuggy safe place. That's a warmth in Mom's arms for us little Care Bears. Good night, huggy mommy. Update on the salvia. I think I can replace beer with a couple leaves in my cheek. It does taste bitter like if you eat tea leaves. Mishiro says the spell wasn't done yet. I got too drunk last night to complete it. At Chris Chan. Sorry for being a jerk on text about book 7.3. I can't ever release the book, even to save the multiverse. I'll still keep it hidden. You can read it in person and that's it. I can't allow its true powers to be known and it's the only security measure. The spell is specifically written and requires two well-trained humans versed in Swethlahonic magic. There are currently only one human versed in it. The second human needs to pass Mishiro's Pan Mythica, which can be taught by myself. I will be testing a Salvia channeling session tonight, taking my shower right now. I wish it would give me visions. I don't know how much of this stuff I have to hold in my cheek to make it do heavy effects. I finally reread Book 7.3, and it's truly a work of evil. I can't let Chris Chan see this thing. A book that was written for absolute power is going to turn you evil. Quote, my quest is to create the most powerful and dangerous grimoire on Earth. No way is anyone seeing this thing. Mishiro said I shouldn't allow anyone to as much as see this book's closed cover unless they pass Mishiro's Pan Mythica class with a passing grade. I will have to make the spell available without this book surrounding it. The spell is useless unless Mishiro give me the final piece which he refuses unless I'm by your side. Mishiro has suggested that Book 7.3 is too dangerous a grimoire to be allowed to exist. It's way too dangerous to risk it leaking, too dangerous to exist. The merge spell is potentially the most dangerous working in that grimoire. I've double-dosed, a strong tea of salvia and shrewd some leaves. The most so far is that I've exceeded my channeling dose. I've managed to finally get a slight waviness in my central vision and stronger waviness in my peripheral. I will probably never see what Chris sees. So far, it's like the waviness, like air rising off a hot street. I can try to meditate with it tomorrow, and see if it's going to do anything in the black mirror. Since it's only in my head, I won't be getting photos. Once I use up the herb, I might give up on it if no other uses come about. Salvia, I was hoping to see my friends in the building. Below this, he posts a poorly photoshopped image of a demon with long tentacles coming down a hallway on a very grainy photograph. I may have to write a chapter about how the Rokat greet, at Chris Chan. Jacoba may be scary as, but in person and on good terms, he's a giant concrete pit bull. I met him physically in 2000. Trying having that face sniffing around and his hot breath on your neck. Beneath this are two hand-drawn pictures of Jacoba, seemingly by Sockness himself. I think Rokat have a scent gland on the nape of their neck. That was where is sniffing concentrated. The species as a whole is curious, and they have no restraint when it comes to physical contact. They communicate more through touch and smell than they do actual words. Rokat only speak words that can't be conveyed chemically or through touch. I doubt you can go through meeting Jacoba in person when he does come to Earth. Meeting a Rokat in person isn't the easiest experience given how they get up in your space. I'm just letting you know what will happen if the merge happens and Jacoba has magical passage to Earth and you get greeted by him. How do you shake a hand with two thumbs? I guess you'll figure it out. I just hug Jacoba back, and let him have his sniff. Below this are two images, one of the front or palm of a Rokat's hand, and the other of the back. While they only have five fingers, two of them are indeed thumbs. I know for a fact, Jacoba can lift a small car over his head. He could toss one of those smart cars like ten feet. I will say this, don't try to pull away. Rokat are designed to hang on to animals the size of a hippo. Hands are designed to ball flesh and make escape impossible. You'll feel his strength in his embrace. It'll feel like a machine. When you meet Jacoba, you'll get hugged from behind first. 
feel his hot breath on the nape of your neck, and he'll let go. You'll get the verbal greeting after that. Rokat names are more the problem. Rokat have spoken names, but the real name is the name smell. It's your scent, the smell your dogs would be using to identify you. Rokat have that level of smell to compare with dogs. Verbal names are only legal formalities. Rokat are really an in-your-face species. Not only will you get sniffed by them, you'll likely be hugged while they sniff around your face. Words are only second to these more developed senses in the species. I would describe more intimate encounters, but being human in shape, that'll never happen. A mentally healthy Rokat is repulsed at the idea of sex with a human. In Rokat legality, and my personal sense, sex is defined as a duck going into China and nothing else. Rokat law is good at defining sex when they have it defined as a duck entering China. In Rokat law, rape can only be performed by a male. I think last year, across 840 million Rokat, only 100 rapes occurred. Crime is extremely low on Kitasuna otherwise. I can't release Book 0.2 which contains the Rokat legal code as I know it. It has laws governing slavery and those can't be released. What healthy mind wants to read about slavery laws on an alien planet anyways? I'm not a healthy mind, so I asked and read those laws. This line about what healthy mind wants to read about slavery laws on an alien planet is in reference to some of Chris Chan's white knights reading through Jacob's books in order to find disturbing things he wrote, including about slavery and rape. Thinking about those mommy places. You know, safe, warm, and huggy soft. The soft ones are the best. I fall asleep on the good ones. Sweetness always wins. At Chris Chan, Do you remember when there was a time in America when we had freedom? The freedom to smile at pretty women and she'd smile back? I have dream. A dream that we can once again smile at pretty women, and that those pretty women can smile back and we'd get to it. I have dream. That our freedoms will one day be restored if we all resist the evil communism that plagues this great nation. One day, those beautiful women will get to show their pretty whites at me once more. I also share this dream with millions across this great nation, that those communist mouthpieces will one day go away and stop hiding the beautiful smiles of our beautiful women. The day will return that I can go to the bar and get attention by those same women. Do you have a dream? A dream where America is free and maskless? That we all can enjoy the beautiful smiles of beautiful women and that those women won't be scared of a virus that is made up by the fake news and even Trump is fooled into belief of? That's my I have a dream speech. This is today's dream. Oh yeah, all that human rights stuff. End corruption BS and the whole list of vices born into every human. Let's fight to regain our personal freedoms from the communists that tool over with their lies. The COVID-19 infection is 90% non-symptomatic. The fake news overinflates the truth to spread fear and panic to destroy our freedom. We all should defy the orders. There's lying to us. It's just a new flu. Those come every year, brand new. The Chinese Communist Party made this whole thing up to destroy Trump and to get Biden in power to finally destroy the USA. If Biden wins this November, freedom is gone. No more free speech. No more bronycons. Just fear of a disease. I can prove the news is lying if you want. Many of the stuff you see on the news is staged or actors like a TV drama. It's propaganda, and the communists own our news organizations. I'll provide proof tomorrow. This should be public. My love for you, Chris Chan, is my driving force to help you at all. If I didn't love or care about you, I'd be off with my own portal distant from yours. I would have kept all the power to myself and not shared any of my knowledge with you. Aligning your merge to my portal home brings me back quite a bit. The fact I'm yours gives you access to my soul crystals and whatever else I have. When we do meet and exchange hugs, I hope we bond as brother and sister so that my tools of magic align to you, that we can shatter the barrier and trigger the merge. Truthfully, you set the goal of our friendship. I don't need a lofty goal to like you. A good hug and I like you. That's all I need. You want all this extra stuff involving my occult power. I'll let you and help you the best I can. If you want to defy the Rokat Empire, I'm by your side. For the right hug, I'd ride the H-bomb into Beijing for you. The trolls are jealous I look so good in a hat. They are a bunch of basement-dwelling fat cows. The next day, July 12th, Jacob continues. The spell is finished. It can only be tasked by me and Chris Chan, and by no one else. I can make the spell itself public since only me and Chris can use it. She can cast it all she wants, but it requires me for it to work at all. If the spell is performed correctly, it will open a portal. 
The merge as described originally is impossible, even with a ring, singularity, of a spinning black hole. I don't know what will actually happen if the spell is used correctly. Now the big part is teaching Christine how to use a Sweslahelin magic, and getting her initiated into the temples needed to charge the tools for this merge spell. It will be like breaking rocks, and a lot of work to learn all the positions and the meditations used. Sweslahelin magic is easy for the advanced occultists to learn, but this isn't just common magic. Darkness can corrupt and isn't easy to resist. Some things might not happen, but this is a well-written spell, so whole knows. I miss my safe place at Daughters of Inno One. When will she be back to keep her child safe? It requires work. It'll never happen. Years of training. It'll never happen. Why did I bother to capture the merge spell if it's never going to be usable? I should have known. She'll never make the visit or allow me to visit her. I released the text of the spell. Chris Chan, I made a ton of effort obtaining the spell for us to use. I hope all of my work was for something. I want to use the spell. July 12th passed without Jacob Sockness posting any evidence of how mask wearing will take away American freedoms. Jubilee has given me dominion over Earth. Chris Chan, I am leader of Earth and representative of Earth to the Rokat. Earth is Palo Visha Terra in any legally binding text from the Empire. I am officially the ruler of Earth until Dana returns. I will keep Earth safe until her return. Until then, it is up to us to keep the peace. If Jubilee's claims are real, my first decree, execute all trolls. All that speak against the goddess are, to me, sacrificed to her holy name. Human rights are for good people. Jacoba said he is throwing some storms at the goddess to teach her a lesson. At Chris Chan. I can prove I have power, far greater than knocking crystal out of my hand. I've made the planet ring like a funeral bell in 2010 in Haiti. I did the chili quake as well. You didn't do anything to China. I attacked China myself and delivered much destruction. I approved my magic in China many times over. I ordained the destruction myself. She never did a part in it because she isn't heartless enough to do such magic. Please don't challenge God when he is clearly correct. I learned that spell I released in the full spell. Parts are still missing. I'm not obtaining these parts. I'm not helping her anymore unless she is here in San Francisco. I'm not working on the spell anymore. Yavon, destroy whatever merge spell you have. We don't need them. She can just retcon these spells without us, Yavon. I forbid helping her until correct thought is presented. We wait until December 1st, and if I'm not there by then, destroy all info on these spells. They will never be needed. Kukulu, the god of madness, has taken hold on Earth. Jacoba is a master tactician and destroyed human civilization. All we have to do to save ourselves is refuse to shut down business and force the economy to remain fully open. Beneath this is a photo of smoke in a dark room. We must fight for personal choice and freedom. This year will be a test for the human race. When humanity fails to reopen, madness will set in and never be lifted. Our civilization will fail, and billions will die as a result of not reopening. The fake epidemic is just China obeying the god of madness. Anyone that obeys the fake news are no better than Hitler. He served the god of madness back then. Obeying the CDC is obey the madness now. Anyone that wears a mask is basically a reincarnation of Adolf Hitler. I love hugs that are nice and tight. I love breathtaking hugs. Hold me tight, I might choose you. Great power comes with great hugs. There are such awesome battles in my channeling logs. Several would make Star Wars level movies on their own. I should email every movie studio and director on Earth to see if a movie can be made. Clearly, Hollywood has run dry, since all they or are remakes and true stories. My books are full of never before told stories, since the whole document comes from an alien civilization with a history unlike anything on Earth. I alone could keep Hollywood busy for centuries. I want to push a movie, though. America loves violence of TV, and my books offer more violence than most material on Earth. I would love to see Jacoba's invasion of Pardudav Moku described on Earth. It'll be so epic, Star Wars will look dumb in comparison. Jacoba's Pardudav Moku battle is a real space battle and massive invasion. The taking of occult relics on that world turned to taking the 13 crystal skulls or other relics on Earth instead. That battle is so perfect for a real movie. I really want to do this. Get a movie made of the battle. It'll be immersive. I'll use a real Earth-like planet and everything to add realism to it. This could be so awesome. 
hands on the baby boy. Only my mommy and daddy are that trusted with me to touch me and protect me from bad people. Mommy, is Christine going to hurt me? Below this are two images, both of Jacob in onesies, touching his large stomach. I created the ultimate ritual and I think it worked. Sanachu is here. The room got really hot and smelled like sulfur, but it's the very same being I channeled before. Magichan is 100% real, and I've got my usual proof. Thang Kuts Jubilee for the love boost the other night. Below are four pictures of a ceremony he did where he put drops of his own blood on Chris's signed Sanachu cards. Without my love, there is no power to my spells. Jubilee had to restore so the spell would work. I'm airing out the sulfurous smell. I think it got over a hundred in here while the portals was maxed out. Me and Magichan are blood brothers now. It looks like we'll be one big happy family someday. Thankfully, no one will ever be able to repeat my spell. I made it up as I went along and I only took photos, no voice recordings. I cannot recreate that spell. I gained some charged crystals out of it, but nothing more. Yeah, the bloodbind will be there for life. This is blood magic, and it's binding for life. At Chris Chan, Mishiro said I should stop helping you achieve the merge. He saw the photos, and said I almost completed your dream. I was a few drops of blood short, that's why Earth is still here. I'm glad the ritual is gone forever. You shouldn't even touch blood magic until you've become a high priestess in a coven. I was high priest of two covens, Blood Raven and Howling Moon. I've performed many physical rituals, and even led a goat sacrifice in the desert once. You get all your knowledge off TV shows like Rick and Morty and Family Guy. I practice real magic that has been around for thousands of years, and been disappointed by the weak systems that humans used that only seek spiritual growth, not power, not travel into other dimensions. I give you credit that the Idea Guys gave you vision to actually want to travel or bring another dimension upon this one. You got me there. The dimensional merge is a hard one to do. I can't help you if I have to burn up to bring it. I had to banish it in the end. Below this is a photograph where Jacob's holding a thermometer stating 162.7 degrees. My spell will do you no good. Clearly, your actual experience in 1218's occult isn't there. Without that knowledge and decades of experience, my spell will do nothing for you, but be a good read when you dream of power. That spell doesn't contain any of the setup or initiations needed to activate its power. You haven't initiated into the temples needed to activate that spell. There is we acts of preparations needed before my spell can be used with results. If we're not meeting, please delete the spell I gave you, and forget it ever existed. It's top-tier magic that needs the proper initiations and training to use. Mishiro said students spend decades learning such magic. I was going to fast-track you in a few weeks. The answer now is no. I'm not teaching you anything right now. I'm not teaching anything over the web. My classes for this stuff are in-person only. Take it however you wish. If you want the merge without my power, find another path. I'm in-person only. I should have believed all those people who said you were a monster. I saw past them and realized you were tricked and used. I felt I could be a true friend. You used me for my power, and when that power served you, you abused it and me with it. If a war, you are no match for me. All you can do is block me again. I can cast powerful spells and wreak my wrath upon whole nations in retaliation. No troll can prove my photos false. This is a real place. I never lie. I don't need to. What I've proven in China is no joke. It will be coming to the USA. It might have because of the heat wave to force the masks off people's faces. My war is not with you, it is with the fake -edemic. The two images that he posted stating that they were evidence of him being able to see real planets cannot be found by reverse Google searching them. At Ab Mommy Lilith, I'll always be 66 inches of baby huggy love. I'm like a five-year-old when I'm all snuggled up and comfy. I love cartoons from the 1980s and My Little Pony. My onesie is Spike the Dragon. I'm a baby dragon. I love being held and comfy in a soft mommy. Below this, he posts four pictures of himself in a dragon onesie, one of them sucking his thumb. A mommy's love. I'm always peaceful in the right embrace. I'm silly and ticklish in all the right places for child's play. I'm just a child regardless of what is found about me. My innocence is my protection. My sweetness is my purity. My hugs are holy and innocent. As I see it under Rokat law, marriage is forever. Divorce leads to sterilization of the one seeking escape. If children are produced, the father is locked into responsibility until those children are interdependent. 
and if disabled are produced, the father is locked into their care. Looking at the mommy places, the boy wants his huggy time and suckling time too. Below this is a picture of Jacob, cross-eyed, missing a tooth with a splotch on his nose. At Chris Chan, I have another project I'm willing to share with you. As you know, Rokat, specifically Jacoba, is violent. I plan to cut one of his most glorious battles from my channeling logs as a script and send it to every talent agency I can find and studio. As part of my second wave of emails, I can include the files you've given me about your content to movie studios. I'm holding off on games for now. Trust me, I won't be easily fooled by the trolls like your Sega incident. Email talent agencies. They are the foot of the door. Talent agencies connect us regular people to the fame of Hollywood. They find talents through agencies, and the better your stuff, the high rank it goes. I tried this ten years ago. Now I have tons of content, and you have near a thousand pages of comic material. Chris, I said I was done magically helping you with the merge. I can still help you in the mundane way. Sonichu, I'm your brother. I'm hard on you because I know you have greatness. We both do. I'll find talent agencies and contact some of them. I'll use my resources and smart neighbors to help me out. Jacoba's battles are better action movies. We know Jacoba. He's all action. Space battle and invading planets. That has to be a good story for a movie. Hollywood is dry as a bone for new material. Chris Chan, have you noticed all the remakes and lack of new material in movies lately? We have material that has never been seen. I have all of Gino Samuel downloaded and all your files. They could make something out of it, and Jacoba's battles for years to come. You and me could save Hollywood. We have such new and fresh ideas, things they've never seen because we are different and want to be heard. If you're okay with it, I'll include you in me emails to the talent agencies. Families stick together no matter what. Stopping the BabsCon is an unforgivable crime against humanity. China, all persons of that species, has committed this immortal sin. They shall be punished for what they allow to exist to block the BabsCon. This crime shall never be forgiven until even the rats are deleted. This is in reference to Chris originally traveling to BabsCon, which is near Jacob's house where he planned to visit Jacob, but it was canceled because of COVID. China will be annihilated for what they did. I pray for earthquakes and famines. Everyone must pay and help destroy the CCP to have their souls forgiven. If me or Christine destroyed all negative massages, we wares have to clear spaced. These are children's onesies from Target. I am small enough to get into them. Joe Boxer's children's onesies are the super tight XL. Solid green is a Joe Boxer. That is too sexy. Below are four images of Jacob in what are clearly not children's onesies. Do not protect the weak. Let the virus kill them. Gaia is protecting the strong in nature. Let the weak perish. The strong need room to breed. The shutdowns failed because humanity is too weak. Only the strong should survive. The weak should be allowed to pass away and make room for the strong. Evolution at work. The shutdowns failed. Give up and live free. The script for movie 1 is 39 pages. I don't think they should change anything. It is very epic as it is. I might only push the first movie and not bother with part 2 with retaliation and a siege of Kitasuna. If this movie is made, it'll have Lord of the Rings and Star Wars beat by billions earned. Truly awesome battle and siege in the second movie. They actually should change anything to make my movie. It's perfection. It's a real battle. Reopen or face my wrath. China is in collapse. It will be your nation unless you reopen fully without face masks. I'm getting the spells perfected, and if I die, I won't be around to tell my gods to stop the destruction. Can't end. At Chris Chan. I hug so tight I trigger nuclear fusion but I love the hugs that turn me into neutron matter. That takes some seriously strong arms. I might be little compared to you, but I'm far stronger physically. My arms wiggle during a pull-up. I think we need to have a jog on the Embarcadero in San Francisco. I challenge you to a race, Sonichu vs. Jacob, for a foot race. Ferry building to Pier 39. Loser buys lunch. $60 for two people to eat and tip. I'm faster than you, Sonichu. I'll prove it in a race from the ferry building to Pier 39 in San Francisco, California. If we don't race this, I claim victory. I'll wait for the fake-edemic to ease and allow you to stay here. I'll even cook healthy stuff for us. I want to race Sonichu, no matter what, from the ferry building to Pier 39. At Chris Chan, I want to see your speed and endurance for myself. This is an obvious ploy to get Chris to come and visit Jacob so that he can prove that he is faster. I'm seeing several other movies in the script. I've taken from my channeling logs. Future Wars and Battles. The script is better than Star Wars. At Chris Chan, get pissed. I'm changing my rules at home. Clothing other than underwear is banned. 
Sandals and cowboy boots are allowed along with onesies. I can't stand being covered up. I gotta be free like a toddler. Free to run. Free to play. Below are two disturbing images of Jacob in only a cowboy hat and underwear. Good night, sister. Family is allowed to do this to family. Family is forever in my eyes. You would even know what to do if I hugged you anyways. Fakeademic end, so I can chase guys who know how to hug. This is the last post of July. Thank you for watching, and thank you to my patrons, A Humble Narcissist, Angel, Ash Perler, Blue Coon, Elijah, Hunter, Jess, Jose, Joseph, Joshua, Caitlin, Randy, Shadow Nexa, Snotling, Steve, Torchka, and Twitch.tv slash Breakup.